Hi, this is Elizabeth Sullivan. I have three more of these little mini paintings to do. So I thought I would first draw them out the way I want them to look. They're all going to be of horses, these. Uh, I'm not sure which of my watercolor pens still work. We'll try this one. works a little bit. Watercolor pens are great because you can draw an outline of something and then it will blend in when you touch it with paint or water. In other words, it doesn't look like it doesn't look like a, a line. It looks like paint. Oh, it is paint. That one's not working too well. Let's try this one. I'm I'm coming to the end of a whole set of these that I need to order order some more. I ordered like ten. And they're pretty much gone. Oh, there's a nice line. Um, I just draw these horses freehand just because I have drawn horses for so many years. I, I got used to, you know, this style of drawing them. And they, it comes very easy to me. Okay. So there is a horse. Just the outline, no tail or... Yeah, it's not working too well. Let's try this one. No tail or mane on it yet. Well, that one's not working too well either. Like I say, I'm running out of paint in these. I mean, oh, there's one that works. I'm gonna have to buy some more. Okay. Then I'll take a brush, my favorite small brush here. Yeah, that one'll do. And I think this horse is going to be one of my turquoise horses. Do I have turquoise on this palette? I do. Wonderful. Get the brush wet. Mix up a little paint with it. You can see already the watercolor pen blends into the turquoise. I love black and turquoise together. If you want to see me painting the background for this, for these mini paintings, I have a couple of videos that show it. Um, there's one called, oh, I think it's called Mini Painting, Painting a Horse. And there's another one, Painting a Longhorn, it's called, that shows how I made the backgrounds. The set of mini paintings has grown to be 14 now. In other words, I got a commission for 14, which is cool. So 
Sometimes I make the turquoise a little thicker. Uh, in other words, I add more paint than I have here, but here you can see it's semi-transparent. Some of the background shows through. And I'm very careful to put the color, the brush over the black lines of the watercolor pen so that it does blend blend in. I'm going to take a dry brush now. If I can find the one I want. Huh, I don't see it. We'll just use a different one. That one's fine. I'm gonna just add water, no paint. And I'm going to pull some of the paint on that leg out. Just a slight indication of motion. Now that the paint on this has dried too much, so I have to put some paint on there in order to pull some out. Okay. And then I'm going to paint the other legs. The front legs. And once again, use a brush with only water in it to draw some of that paint out. Just a vague indication of motion. Okay. There we have the body of the horse. I'm going to put the mane and tail on, and usually I put it on in black, but this time I'm putting it on in sepia, which is a color I like. And I might have to turn my painting to the side. And I'm going to add a little bit of turquoise to that tail. While it's wet. So that it blends into the tail. Okay, there we go. It'll look different when it dries, but that's the best I can do right now. You notice I turn the painting when I'm painting on it. It doesn't matter which, uh, which way you paint. flowing sort of brush strokes to put the mane in. Oh, I don't like that too much. Oh, well. Okay, let's put a little bit of turquoise on that too. On the, on the mane. I might add a little bit more to the tail. It didn't show up very well. Okay, there we go. And the end of painting this is um, the hooves. I'm gonna put, put that, put a little bit of the burnt sienna, uh, not burnt sienna, uh, sepia on the hooves. Sepia is just a dark brown color. It looks almost black. And 
a few spots for this horse. There we go. I'm done with that. Oops. Oh, right there. The turquoise has blended in too much. I want more turquoise on that. So I'm going to add a little to fix that. That's about it. Okay. It's not dry yet. It'll dry soon. It's a pretty... Uh, dry and hot day here in Texas. Wow, I have too many dry and hot days. I hadn't rained for months. I'm going to sign the painting. You see the turquoise in the tail and the mane. You can just barely see it. It was bright when I put it in there, but now you can just barely see it, which I knew it would dry that way because I've done it before. Okay. Happy painting, happy trails.